took a tour of one of the premier baseball facilities in the Northeast, Velo U, located in Pleasantville, New York. They gave us a full tour of the facility, checking out all their new additions and technology. Plus, we got to see some MLB prospects bring the heat in their final bullpen sessions and workouts before heading down to spring training. Come check it out. What's up guys, Josh from Baseball Lifestyle here with Kenny Hayden, Director of Media at Velo U in Pleasantville, New York. Gonna give us a tour of their insane facility. Let's go. All right, so coming out here into the turf, talk to me about it. I know some you guys did some uh, renovations, so. Yeah, so since our main event last year, you guys were here for that, we've added a lot of space. So we have the green turf right here that's about 6,500 square feet. This is kind of what the existing building was. Anything that has green turf is what was already here since 2014. OG Velo U. OG Velo U, <laughs> even Athletes Warehouse before Velo U. New space over here for bullpens. We put in a evaluation room, so any new athlete that's coming in, they have the opportunity to actually see what's going on. But we can get a pretty good idea, it's like, hey, like, are you gonna be a good fit? Is this somebody that's going to take this serious enough? All right, so we're kind of coming through the pitching area and stuff, um, got cages set up. This is a new addition, yeah? Yep, so basically anything with black turf that you're gonna see anywhere in the building is pretty much brand new. We added in six, basically like spring training, set up a bullpen, so you got six miles next to each other. I think it's about five feet between each one. So it's like a true spring training setup, a right. professional setup. It's just a better, more baseball friendly facility. Love it. Next stop, we went to the arm care and warm up station where guys typically start their day at the facility and get loose. A lot of water bag drills in the off season. You know, you have your standard med balls, we have our J bands, anything they could need to get loose. In the new addition at Velo U, um, this was just a parking lot right now. Got the black turf. Talk to me about what we're doing in here. Yeah, so this was, you know, like you said, the old parking lot. We had an outdoor cage that was somewhere over here, but kind of it. Now we put in 5,500 square feet of new this is black turf. Almost all the walls are rubber or stall mats. We put all those up so they can throw into it. Not going to damage the walls, but it'll give good auditory feedback as well. Mm -hmm. As I'm sure you can hear in yep. the background of yep. all this. This is where a lot of our drill work happens now that we have all the mountains over there on the green turf. All right, so a couple of weeks from spring training out, got some pro guys coming in to throw today. What's the process like? What are they working on? Well, this is like their midweek pen. So the ultimate objective today is feel good for Friday Live. Get on the mound, get the hell off the mound, and we'll see you back on Friday. Anybody uh, in the last couple of weeks making some big strides that you're pumped about as they go to spring training? Yeah, I mean, one of our big guys, Joe Lasorsa, I mean, his below has steadily risen all off season. This has been a hurdle of his for the last couple of years in his career and something that it's been awesome to see him break through. Aiden Curry is Mr. Consistency, so we are just trying mm -hmm. to see him just keep ride this wave, ride the wave, and let's get you to spring training. Some of the younger guys, like, Justin, Yost, Neek, and then Yorlin, they have just looked fantastic with all their stuff the last few weeks. So it's like polish, 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 wax the Ferrari, and mm -hmm. get you to the show. Yeah. I want to see Neek like work with a much faster pace. Yorlin sliders got to look really good today. That's what we're looking to see. So it should be cool. Cool. Let's go. I go, let's go back to back with those. So come back, come back fastball, and then just come back to that same sequence. That boy. There you go. Come on. Come on. Yummy. Can you give me a 90 right here? Sure. All right. Thanks, pal. Oh, I'm like a big boy now. I know, watch this. This one I'm actually proud of. I might have came back a little bit, but the fact that's going in still plays. In a little, we need no, in, a, in a little see, more. 10, yeah, but 10 off from the sinker? For, yeah, if, yeah, if we're going to put the sinker at 20, then yeah. That was good. Hey, you got some left on the four seam though. Yeah, look at you. Latin Bomber, you're last? Yeah! That is gross. He's That's opening his shoulder to try and throw that, the glove side pitch. He just needs to stay on the line longer. Better. Yeah! What? Do that again. I did not know he threw like that. What are we working on today, coach? Throwing hard. All right. <laughs> oh, 
Just finished up bullpens with Steve, director of performance here at VLU. Talk me through what's the what's the post game like for these guys? Cool. So they just had a super high intense throwing session out on the turf. Now we're going to come in here in the gym and have something similar to that. So we break our lifting up into two phases. So we have our arm care, which a lot of our guys are doing now, which is basically our shoulder uh, form and elbow prevention system. And then we couple that with a high intensity lift. A lot of dynamic movements, a lot of sprinting, a lot of plyometrics. So they have an app that they're they're all working through. They probably have between three and four rounds of each exercise. Are they throwing day after, or is it just lift, cardio? What's uh, day after? So it's kind of up to them. So a lot of guys they they like to throw, like mm -hmm. they're baseball players. Yeah. So it's mostly like keep your arm loose, light, and then come in here and get a blood flow workout. The main premise of today's workout is move fast, right? Like we, we want to try to move the body as fast as possible. Being able to lift weights is cool and all, but we also have to be athletic and be able to move our body in space. I'm in that start position here. I get my hips to commit. Full Forward and drive out of that. Not bad for a guy with one good leg. <laughs> good. You ready to try? Yeah, I used to be the nice nicest at the hurdles. <laughs> They're the height of your hips. All you did was literally yeah, step over them. Step my leg over. <laughs> like, <laughs> Everyone else is like. Yeah, that's why you don't see anyone with hurdles, that's my height. So, what they're doing now is just like a hamstring tantrum, where they're focused on just a quick hamstring contraction, just trying to move fast from the hip. And they're supersetting that with what's called like an offset push-up. So it's just a dynamic plyo push-up with uh, one hand a little bit higher than the other to really emphasize one arm as opposed to working both arms. They're going outside, they have skip for height, a hard step into the ground, drive as much force as you can vertical, and they have to do that for 30 yards. So it's being able to maintain power for duration as well. Okay, we're gonna have to teach you how to skip. <laughs> hey Joe, when you skip, it's up, man, up. I know, man. No, I, I know, I, I know yeah. what you mean. I was doing it wrong. So I was like, yeah. No, like you would you'll just jump off one leg, land in that same leg, push right into the other side. Yeah, there we go. That's it. After this, they have some loaded sled sprints. I don't go super heavy with the sled. It's all depending on body weight. That's way better. There we go. Don't make me worse. Don't make me worse. Like, like. <laughs> Got it. Go. All right, pros are just finishing up their workout. What's next uh, here at Vilo So yeah, pro guys just wrapped up their day. It's like 2.30ish. High school guys are getting out of school. They're gonna start rolling in. They come from five minutes of high school up the street to an hour and a half away every day. So yeah, we're just gonna get it going. There's a lot of long toss stuff today, a lot of drill work stuff today. And then uh, I think Coach Nick wants to talk to kind of the group, which he tends to do sometimes. Cool, all right, let's do it. You envision yourself absolutely dominating the other hitter. It better look like that. That's it for the tour. Kenny, thanks for having us. Thank you. Appreciate you guys coming out. This is awesome. Of course, dude. I'm pumped to come back. Uh, guys, we're going to plug below you in the description. Go check them out on social. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next tour. Make sure you like and subscribe.